Hello, everyone. Hello, Debbie. Thank you so much. Um, and ASA staff, that was amazing. That was so smooth. Um, I don't think I have actually been on just a Zoom uh, a conference with five people that didn't have technical difficulties of some kind. Um, so this was really amazing. Uh, I know there was so much work that went into this and it can be hard uh, you know, for those who are, you know, who are not seeing people running around like our normal conference to understand how much work went into this. So, um, and Debbie, um, you've just been doing such an amazing job leading the organization. We're so grateful. Um, Sean, Jeffrey, Renald, thank you so much for, for all the work that you, you put in. And of course, thank you so much to our sponsors. Uh, we couldn't, couldn't do this work without you. And as Debbie mentioned, you know, um, while you're know, changing the, the venue and everything for uh, the conference, um, uh, we still had quite a few expenses. We weren't able to recoup them back. And the ASA conference is actually one of the ways that we um, bring in funding for part of, part of the year. So if you're currently not a member or if you have uh, some extra funds that you can give, maybe this is the time to call all of your friends and ask them to become a member. Uh, things are gonna be tight here uh, at ASA just like they will be for the rest of the nation. And so we're gonna do everything we can, one, to keep our doors open and keep serving patients during this time. Uh, but also, um, you know, as you guys saw over the last few weeks, um, it means the world to patients to have ASA here. Um, our, our staff was able to move quickly and get cannabis uh, considered as uh, part of the essential businesses, uh, which is life-changing for patients. Uh, it was uh, uh, life-saving for those businesses um, that were watching the, you know, their counter businesses around them close. Um, and we can only do that work if, if we can keep, keep the lights on. So <clears throat> this is, this was, on one hand, this was really lovely that we were able to do this. I'm also just very sad that I wasn't able to see um, my ASA family this year. Um, you guys mean so much to me and um, I know means so much to each other. I was very excited to hear that um, the people use the term, uh, the unity family uh, across our, our membership. And um, uh, we definitely uh, depend on, on all of you uh, for morale to keep this work going. Uh, we've done a lot together and it's times like this when we're not going outside, we've got a little bit of time to stay in, um, to reflect uh, and to really take a breath and, and think about the world that we want to be entering into after we are leaving this crisis. And I know that uh, the work that you all have been doing uh, has changed the lives um, of your neighbors, uh, of other patients, and as we heard from other panelists, um, has, had a, has a, had a global impact. So thank you for, for all that you do. Um, I know that we often get very stuck in our local fights. Um, there is so much to do at the local level and at the state level. It can be a bit of a challenge when you hear um, Americans for Safe Access ask you to, um, to look at uh, the federal picture or even to weigh in uh, on international issues. Um, but we're no longer um, fighting this fight as a subculture. Uh, we're, we're no longer fighting this fight um, just to be heard. We're now positioning ourselves around the table. And so medical cannabis isn't uh, this standalone issue. It is now a subset of healthcare. It is now a subset of uh, emergency care. It is now a subset of uh, all of these other, other issues that, have, that affect your lives. And so it's important to show up here, but it's also important to take what you've learned from Americans for Safe Access and from your colleagues and bring it back into the other areas of your life. So if you're in the nursing community, bringing this knowledge back to your colleagues, um, you know, educating uh, your, your parents, your, your friends, uh, your sons and daughters about cannabis and about medical cannabis. And of course, knowing 
um, that you have an amazing resource here at Americans for Safe Access that can make you a better advocate and can also take off some of the pressure uh, when you're trying to, to educate uh, new advocates for our movement. So again, thank you so much to our staff. I'm so um, grateful that you're all healthy and able to join us today. And you know, I think that we really need to make a commitment together that we will all come to DC next year. I know maybe a few of you have missed some uh, over the past couple years, but let's really make 2021 our biggest conference ever. And it's make, let's make it the last year that cannabis is illegal federally. So with that, I wanna say thank you all so much. I'm gonna raise my glass, uh, sparkling uh, raspberry juice, uh, since they won't be uh, having our fun cocktail hour after this. Um, I'm sending you all love and look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you so much.